The commodity price of copper is soaring worldwide due to a record high demand by China for copper. Expansion of the mines is everywhere visible. This should mean a greatly increased government revenue in copper taxes and a better standard of living. The Zambian Minister of Mines explained. The mining sector in Zambia experienced quite a favorable period in 2010. We expect this to continue in 2011, especially if the commodity prices continue showing the, the trends that they're showing now. Uh, that will allow uh, companies a lot of scope to invest in production uh, capacity and also in efficiency improvements in the existing productions. The prosperity of the copper boom is to some extent reflected in the Saka's shopping centers such as Manda Hill and the Arcade. Zambia's second largest city, Kipwe, and also the site of the Mopeni copper mine, also has a prosperous and western look about it. Many services in the town are provided by the mine itself, including the swimming pool, numerous clubs, and the hospital. The homes in some of the mining cities would make anyone proud, even in the western countries. Yet the wealth of the copper boom is not being shared with the average Zambian. The average income of Zambians per year is below $400, and one in five Zambians carry the HIV virus. Even the mine workers, although wealthy by Zambian standards, work long hours seven days a week and seldom earn more than $300. Underground lie some of the world's largest deposits of copper. Capital investment is in the billions, and yet the country is the 25th poorest in the world. You would never know that there are millions of dollars being invested in mining shares. In neighborhoods like this, there are little visible signs of the wealth. Life expectancy in Zambia is a mere 47 years of age. Few children are able to attend school beyond year seven when school fees become compulsory, and many are forced into the working world at a younger age. With the high death rate from AIDS, many of the children are orphans and fend for themselves, living on the streets in the larger urban centers. Accommodation in Zambia is very basic, usually made from free and local materials, such as brick and native grasses. The range of food products is basic. The staple food is nishima, cooked from maize or ground corn, and resembles porridge and eaten with your hands. Many city streets in Osaka are unpaved and in poor condition, the great potholes. Even the major highways quite often fall into disrepair. Many miners work long hours and are poorly paid. Those money they are making should remain here in Zambia so that the Zambian people must benefit from it especially miners, because we are facing a lot of difficulties underground. He's worked for a year and a half without a break, but he has a job. Others are less fortunate and worry about their next meal. Spend uh, sleepless nights. Mentally, I would say I'm being tortured. Because uh, how do I explain this situation to my little ones? Uh, they, they just need food. They just need to go to school. So... For me to find means of survival, that is what is spending me. There is widespread concern that the Zambian government is not doing enough to protect the interests of these Zambian people. Mining companies have been accused of having special concessions and exaggerating their expenses and minimizing their incomes in order to swell the profits 
without paying taxes. With the forthcoming 2011 election, there may well be a backlash by the people against the current Banda government. The leader of the opposition party, Michael Seda, questions the need for special concessions for certain countries to encourage their mining activities. Why should there be special conditions for the Chinese and Malaysians? Why should the Chinese and Malaysians come and participate in a mixed economy with all other nationalities? Why should they have special treatment? Why should they have discriminatory treatment? And after all, the Chinese and Malaysians are newcomers to, uh, to Zambia. Some workers are angry at the apparent duplicity of the government. We are going to go to the farm and plant the trees. We are going to almost four months. A man that we are going to go to the farm So a man that I am going to go to the farm and plant the trees. We are going to go to the farm and plant the trees. We are going to go to the farm and plant the trees. We are going to go to the farm and plant the trees. We are going to Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -hmm.